meeting, a, a, a difficulty in trying to cool it, and now the explosion and some radioactive material escaping into the atmosphere. So, yes, this continues to build, to build Becky, a highly nuclearized country. It means that they are very familiar with nuclear energy and nuclear power. They know how to deal with it, but you're getting into, into really uh, uh, uncertain sort of waters here. That government has expanded the evacuation area around the plant because of a radiation leak. Now the radius of evacuation has been increased from a 3 to 10 kilometers and then the radiation rose to an unusually high level in and near Fukushima number one nuclear plant following the massive earthquake that took place yesterday. The amount of radiation reached around 1000 times the normal level raising fears of a new of a meltdown. So the fear is rising that a meltdown in reactor number one in the Fukushima nuclear power plant may indeed have begun. Remember yesterday after the earthquake, the cooling systems of the Fukushima number one reactor shut down. The plant had an eight hour backup, backup power supply. That backup power supply ran out a few hours ago. Despite the despite more coolant that has been that has been pumped in, it seems that at least the, the residents and at least the three mine area have been have been evacuated as they detect those radioactive particles. This is just hitting the wires, uh, but the Japanese government has confirmed that there has been a radiation leak at that quake hit Fukushima number one nuclear plant. That's the one uh, our viewers are looking at right now where the explosion occurred earlier and we can see the smoke. Um, there have been talk that, that there would be radiation leak. We've talked to a couple of nuclear experts and now the Japanese government confirming that there is indeed a, a radiation leak there. A as you're there in the airport, I mean, have you talked to anybody yet? I mean, there, there must be a lot of fear, uh, not just after, you know, we saw what the, what the tsunami has done and uh, the rescue and, and the recovery that's coming.